So uh, something that's come up from Dima is, is WASM, right? Like I, I've heard of WASM for probably eight years and I've been waiting for WASM to find a home, right? That the promise was in the browser, we're gonna run, run things fast. And it seems like finally, I think there's a home for WASM in the embedded world. And it's my understanding that Rust has really been a, in, in the frontier, the head of this sort of WASM curve where they've always had the best, I don't know, it's a WASI compiler. I don't know what all the language terms are here, but let's just say WASM, being able to produce WASM better than any other language. I, I'm now hearing that the Tiny Go project um, is about to put some native WASM support and even the Go compiler, I think in the next release is gonna have some new architectural flags for this. So it seems to me that WASM's finally really getting the right momentum and, and, and uh, gonna find a home in the embedded world. So what kind of project, is this your same sort of, are you seeing the same things or am I just way off? Yeah, WASM is awesome. Um... So my first experience with it was back when there was a hack together C++ compiler, and I was working on a website that uh, did um, radio propagation studies, and there, some of the math was just too slow in JavaScript at the time, so I tried out this WASM thing, and even then it was literally a 10 to 100 times speed up in the browser. So when Rust announced uh, full WASM integration, first thing I did was I took uh, the roguelike tutorial that I'd been working on, um, which Stan Wiggler just called out, and I compiled it for the browser. I had to change a couple of lines of code because threads work differently, and everything else just worked, even the OpenGL, putting, every, putting the game on the screen. Um, it really was just fantastic. I've never seen such great integration. And um, now WASM is built into Docker. Uh, you can compile your services, send them off in a um, they're pretty platform neutral. You don't have to care what kind of what kind of computer under, is underlying running them. WASM is pretty tiny. You can send it off. It'll run on a Raspberry Pi. It'll run on a supercomputer. Um, the only downside is that WASM threads are really really weird, and so if you need to spin off a large amount of heavy compute. Um, you're going to have a lot of work to do it. It can do threads, but they work differently from, well, every other thread I've ever seen. 